Welcome back to the Council of Reads, bringing you comic book goodness every week. I'm Dylan, here with Jason. Glory, glory. Nitin. Yo. Fami. Hey, hey. And Dave. It's hot and windy outside, just like my farts. <laughs> Dave. Thank you, you for, say, the, for the image there. You didn't say lick then, did you? You said like. Like. Okay, sorry. Just <laughs> lick, lick my <laughs> This is Dylan's choice, Fami. Which one would you like? Just so um, can't tell when it comes to Dave sometimes. It's a double double check. Okay, as always, we've got um, a two main featured comics, a um, handful of Marvel related video game announcements this week, a few movie trailers we checked out, new episode of What If, and Dave's film flashback, Short like Circuit. It. Okay, with comics, I've got a question for you. Do you guys, is it Kazar or Kazar? Kaza. I say Kazar. Kaza. There's mm. a hyphen in the middle. So mm. you're the only one that's saying it wrong, Bill. Unless you want to like... say it really emphatically, like Kazar. Kazar? Well, in the X Men cartoon, well. they said Kazar. So oh, yeah, really? Okay. That, yeah. Okay. Just Kazar Car- Car- sounds a little bit more jungly to me. Mm. Yeah. I just go with the cartoon. It's just Kazar whenever. It's yeah. Saturday. That's generally, if they've said it in the cartoon, that's how it goes. It's hard to argue. Yes. All right. Who read this? Yeah, I right. read that. Who first? Go on, Dave. Ah. All right, I'll go first. Um, it was a bit of a struggle, to be honest. Uh, yeah. And I could I, tell I that the, the editor sort of didn't want to like read it either, maybe. Because <laughs> there's one line in there that goes, Oh, it takes time to like it takes time fully adjust. And it's like, no, it literally takes time to fully adjust. Like the editor clearly didn't read it and just it's like, oh, this is fine. This will, this will hey, be. throwing bombs early on. Yeah. Right? It's out Marvel corporate. It wasn't the greatest first issue I've ever read. Like, it's interesting. So, like, in the Empire event, they killed off Kazar. So he's back alive, but he's sort of got some new powers and he's more connected to the Savage Land and he's trying to adjust to his new thing. And same thing had happened to... Um, the missus before that, so she's trying to guide him. They got a kid, the kid's kind of a teenager, so he's a felon. Um, but the art, eh, eh. Mm. Um, the art didn't, I don't think the art suited. It's very washed out and yeah, trying to look too pretty, maybe. It's not going to suit the where the story's headed. Mm. Like, if you look at the last few pages, it's oh, yeah. definitely not going to suit it. Because, yeah, as much as I was, yeah. It was a bit of a struggle, and I wasn't overly enjoying it. It wasn't bad, but it was just, eh. But the end, you're like, oh, okay, I'm actually interested now. Like, yeah, yeah, that's the only, like, yeah, it, it, saving it, grace a good for hook. me. Like, yeah, it's a good hook. Because you're like, oh, what is going on here? No one, no spoilers, but yeah, it was something interesting maybe coming there. Who's so, the team on this? Uh, Thompson? The, is it Zach Thompson, I think? Zach Thompson. I can't remember his on art. Speaking of 90s cartoons, could be someone from the Savage Land that they're talking about. Is that what you're saying? Oh, no. No, no. Oh, okay. It's it's not a certain winged person. Okay. I'm not sure what it is. Yeah. Hmm. Like very trippy and like, oh. Some of it reminded me of like... um, You said different to that, but okay. Some of it reminded me of like New 52 Animal Man. Yes. It was like kind of out there and really wacky and a little bit grotesque as well. Yes. Oh, they're definitely trying to do something different, which like I like Kazar, but mm. it's just Tarzan. You know, like mm. there's not that many stuff you can really do interesting, different with it. So they're trying. Um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was weird. It was weird. Trippy. Trippy. Trippy would be the best way to describe it. Fair enough. Issue two cover has a cyborg T Rex on the front. Nice. You can't go wrong with that. Indeed. Okay. What's up next? You want to get into May's book? Yeah, let's get into May's book. Yeah, let's get into May's book. All righty. Everybody read this? Yeah. I think so. Yep. Excellent. I really liked it. Mm, yeah. It was just it's the so... team that did Sweet Tooth, right? Well, it's just him. Yes. Oh, it's just Lemire. Yeah, Lemire doing art as well. Oh, oh that's cool. Did he do art in Sweet Tooth? Yeah. Okay. So it is a team behind Sweet Tooth. Yes, yes, yes. The one man team behind Sweet Tooth? Yes. Yeah. No, I liked it. It's interesting. It was, uh, 
a downer of a book. Yeah, yeah. man. Like, so, oh. It was heavy. So mm-hmm. heavy. I think the other night when I was reading books, I read a few books and then I got to that and I was like, yeah, that'll do for tonight. Like, it was, <laughs> it was depressing. But, yeah. but it's very good. Very, like, you, the emotion, you feel the emotion. Mm-hmm. Oh, like, yeah. Quite and, easily, first issue, you're into it. And you didn't need that. Like, it's not a long read. Like, it's very short, but he got the message through. Yeah. Like, the story came through easy, you know? Like, it is. Yeah. And it's a thick yeah. issue, but yeah, you yeah. breeze through it real fast. Mm-hmm. Like, you definitely um, needed that extra, those extra pages. Yeah. yeah it's a, it's a great set up book. Um, do you feel do. that it's a story of him losing his mind? Not quite, actually trying quite possibly. Um, possibly. You know what I mean? It's like it's the metaphor. Yeah. Of him losing a sort of dementia yeah. or something, you know, some of that. Oh, One last chance to try and find her. Or keep and like if keep he loses his memories her, then, together then before. Then he, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they yeah. unravel. Yeah, you know, I could be wrong. Just mm. the vibe I no, get. The first issue, because yeah. the the without giving it too much, the basic plot is this guy ten years ago lost his eleven year old daughter, um, and it's he's just. Depressed, you know, in a massive funk and does nothing, just goes to work, goes home. Yeah, just he's, a, he's in the, the cycle. Route. Yeah, he's in the, he's in the, he's in the route route. Whatever. Um, like the yeah, like the, the neighbors hit on him and he just don't care. He's just mm-hmm. checked out. Um, yeah. and then people often try people try to be nice. You can see yeah. there's, there's people around him that uh, do care. Yes, uh, he's just shrugging them all away in the situation that he's in at the moment. So yeah, yeah. let me. And Lemire deals, and that's the thing, if it is that kind of thing, didn't Lemire mm-hmm. does that very well, which yes. he did amazingly in um in Moon Knight. So Absolutely. just something a little bit different. Mm-hmm. There's no superheroes flying around, it's just a good little bit dark. Sets up sets up the story really well. Like you said, it's not a long read, but you could go back and, and have a good flick through it really, really quickly again and still enjoy it just as mm-hmm. much. Um, yeah, really he's got some really good stuff coming out over the next three months. I'm really keen to see. Um, where this goes, and I really like the art style. I don't know, it's it's rough and it's sketchy, but I think I I just enjoy that sketchy look. And some of the it's weird, some of the art, some of the sketches, it almost looks like it's done as one line. One line? Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, interesting. Like the maze book is yeah. one line. Yeah, well, that title is one line, thing. but just like little um, drawings of his face, they just seem like you see the beard connects to the mouth, and that connects to the the mustache, and it's. It's all that one line work, and yeah, it, it's it's sketchy, but looks very artistically done at the same time. Um, yeah, great. This I have been a fan of him for a while, but I'm just yeah, every, more and more keen to see um, what he brings out over the next 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 few months. Because I'm not generally a big fan of his art, um, but it really fit the mood in this, and the contrast of the he's more depressing pages just being the black and white wash mm-hmm. and then the oh bits of her that the fancy color oh art yeah <laughs> uh, it just yeah I, I think the art fit the mood mm. the illusions ruined all those venoms aren't really behind no. me Damn it. <laughs> and yeah and if it is an actual book where he goes through a maze to find his daughter or whatever oh. that's still cool i like yeah this book. totally Pairs i do like the, the in the beginning where he's got the cubicle where he's his office scene is a maze, yeah. sort of. Yes, which is a nice little touch. Now there's a lot to like page about. Page Fomi was trying to show. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I really enjoyed it. I can't wait for the next issue. It's Big good. Time. Yeah. Big time. Mm-hmm. Indeed, indeed. Jump on, guys! It's um, really worth, really worth the trek through the maze. Alrighty. <laughs> you got there, Fomi. Oh yeah. What else check out, Jace? Uh, what did I check out this week? I went. Oh, I checked out the Black Manta issue one. Oh yeah, how'd that go? Uh, that was interesting. Um, yeah, I have not really sure what was going on, but it was interesting. <laughs> Intrigue. <laughs> yeah, Intrigue. like it's, it's cool because you get to see him doing some piratey sort of stuff and other pirates oh, cool. trying to like uh, like a full pirate ship type of deal. They're they're jacking like one of his his boats, not him on it, but. And this he comes and just messes them up. Um, it's got something to do with maybe his kid and like people are getting something's happening to people. They're getting he's dying. I think basically what's going on and something something about like aneurysms and that type. Of, you know, people are just uh, freaking oh, out okay. or whatever. Um, 
yeah, I was like, I don't know what the hell's going on here, but it was good. It was weird, but good. I think the first part, or maybe the prequel to this, was in the Aquaman 80th anniversary yep. that came out last week. Because I remember that's you know, remoting that story and said, you know, continues for sure, for sure. Aquaman. Um, so I'll have a look at it later. Yeah, it was, it was all right. Different. Uh, I checked out He Man, of course. Oh, Can't yes. That. This uh, is the Evil Lynn issue. Um, that was pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um, her, her, like, you know, each issue is basically sort of the, not the origin, but revealing secrets, I guess. The title, I guess. Uh, so this was, yeah, definitely her origin as a kid and um, how she found magic and how she found Skeletor. It was good. Uh, mm-hmm. My one grip, the art, I don't, I'm not sure if the art fits the story. Yeah. A bit too cartoony, where they're doing like, same with the Skeletor issue, issue before, like, they're pretty dark. But it's very flat, simple, cartoonious. Hmm. It says it's the last issue, the next issue. I thought it was just like a five-parter. Did they cut an issue? I thought it was five too, but then I did see on the like the invoice it was three or four, and I was like, I thought it was five, so I'm not yeah. sure. Okay. Hmm. You know, I'm buying it for a mate, so I didn't actually even open it. And I've got it here, and yeah, I couldn't agree more, actually. The art does not. It should have been... Um, going for an older storyline, I guess. So it's going back and talking about her in the past, but because it looks sort of kid friendly art, yeah. Mm. Which mm-hmm. she's a kid in it, yeah. Okay, maybe, but yeah, I don't know. Just it's been the same artist every issue, right? Yes, but because it's kind of like an anthology format, I felt like a different artist every issue would have been the go. Absolutely, or at least have you know have someone <clears throat> with some of the framing segments. Yeah, and then the flashback, yeah. someone else, you know, because the framingness of the them trying to tap into the monster thing and it's, you know the secrets of Grayskull, get someone to do that, and then the flashbacks, like, because this needs to be darker, more edge to it. And I thought mm-hmm. same last week, Skeletor. I just said that already, but you know, um, it's repeating. Yes, yes, it was, it was. Uh, what else did I check out this week? I right, also, uh, Defenders. Oh yes, yep. Tommy, you ready to defend Book of the week? Well, let's let's just get to it now. I'm fully caught up, so there's no yeah. talking flashbacks anymore. Hey. Unless I go back and start reading some trades. Book of the week, that defenders book. It's just so pretty. It's Al Ewing doing some awesome work on Doctor Strange. Yeah, he's picking up space chicks again. I love it. Oh, how good was that bit? <laughs> so good. Um, Straight away, like surfers last... are not nasty. Yeah, not again. Come <laughs> on. That last page where that Cthulhu looking thing with his dogs that are, you know, those weird worms that they found that have got like the reams and yeah, up at the, at the bottom of the page, they've got the reams and reams of teeth. Yeah. The dog things that he's got that that's stuff of nightmares. Oh, uh, lampreys. Yeah. That's it's like ramp- 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 Yeah. But they're dogs. Lampreys. That's his. Yeah. Um, the art is the whole, just gorgeous. The art is sensational. The whole battle scene. So the setup is we kind of still don't know exactly what's going on, but mm. going back to just they were trying to de- defeat Galactus's mother, and there's a whole scene there with like toddler Galactus and Surfer. Oh, it's the baby Ooh, Hitler. Man, deal, that was right? great. Yeah. And the yeah. whole baby Hitler deal. It is excellent. Al Ewing is on fire. So. Um, really glad I've caught up because this book was excellent. The the um, the battle of the um, oh, heralds heralds that mm. was excellent. Uh, and yeah, the fact that you really still don't know what is fully going on. Um, makes and like book. the mass ride a bit with Surfer. Yeah. Interesting, Surfer right? knows and you know like, who's Ooh. under yeah Ooh. under the under the mask. Yes, big reveal coming before the end of the series. Actually, big time. Yeah. I, I really liked it. The only qualm I have about it is that I can't appreciate what, where they're going, who they're meeting, because I don't, like, A, you don't know, but B, like, I think if you knew a bit of the history of, like, the cosmos and all that, you'd probably have a great art. A lot of it's new, though. It's all new, though. Yeah. Have we seen Galactus's mother too many times before? No, not really. Well, that's what I thought. Wasn't Galactus supposed to be a, you know, one of the last of the people that existed? Yes. Before the Big Bang happened. So yes. isn't the whole point, Dave, just to enjoy the ride? It is, it is. But then they're just shoving all these new like 
characters in my face. So it's like, okay, okay, okay. Stranger's sleeping on that one. Okay. Abe likes a slow burn. He's watched a thousand plus episodes of One Piece. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know what you mean, Dave. Just like, that, I, can, um, I can get a bit lost. That's all. It can be, it can be overwhelming. You know? Yeah, like, yeah. No, I kind of felt the same. That's what I think I like. Yeah. That, Al. Dude, if you're saying that now, in, Hulk's going to mess you around big time because <laughs> it's, there's a lot of new <laughs> twists and turns coming your way. And we'll get to that in a minute. But yeah, like, I like Al Ewing because then I can go back and read it again and go, oh, that. And then we, all oh, right. Because yeah, well, yeah. He is a little bit messed up in that regard. But um, I get what you're saying, like, but yeah, I think as Jay's point was, there's when they're not rehashing a lot of old stuff at the moment. Everything in, in this so far seems to be quite new. Because they're okay, going cool, cool. back, not sort of in time to the previous dimensions. You know, mm-hmm. they, they explain yeah. this uh, his origin. He came from the end of the death of his sixth dimension, and the big the big bang of our dimension sort of thing is what turns him into Galactica. Yeah, so it's all a lot of new stuff. It's very good. Mm-hmm. What are you, Dylan? What did you read this week? Um, I checked out issue two of Tech on Avengers. Oh, yes? How was that? That was awesome. Fun, you buying this? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. Somebody shows up in it. Yeah, yeah. And, um, it, man, this is really cool. The, the one thing that's missing in this is a giant combiner robot. That's the one thing it's missing. Oh, wait till the end, Dylan. Wait till the yeah, end. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. We're only two yeah. issues in. That's yeah, I know. I, I don't want to get my hopes up, though. So I'm just going to assume there isn't going to be one. They don't pull out the Megazord at the start of the episode, Dylan. No, but I don't think we'll get one. Oh, yeah. I guess the cover sort of is, though, isn't it? Is, that, 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 that looks like some armor that he's gotten on. Like, mm. an, he's, you know, like a power-up kind of thing. Is there a droid? There's a droid. Toy know, it's cover? a toy line, and we've seen the toys, and the toys are each of the characters. So. Exactly. There isn't a, a Megazord. That I've seen anyway. But. Yeah, it's just that, you know, there's a giant character in it and they didn't have a giant robot to fight the giant villain. I was a bit, uh, but it's amazing. It's just, it's just cool. Like, I'll show you this page of Iron that Man. That might be the most got... Asian thing I've ever heard you say. To me. What? Where's my <laughs> giant robot? Yeah, of course. I agree with you, Dylan. <laughs> giant robots are the best. <laughs> ah, I like Especially if there's giant monsters already in the story. But you know what? Begging for giant robot. Giant robot a combiner just lends itself to a Marvel Legends line. Yeah. Instead of a builder figure, they all combine into a big. That looked terrible. It's like Voltron. You've got the different colors of the lines and stuff. Yeah. Um, I also checked out um, issue one of Dead Box. How was that? That was really interesting, actually. you sort of don't really know much of what's going on, but essentially there is a haunted DVD rental machine. Ooh. And if you rent a movie from this machine and you watch it, the events of that movie start happening to you. <laughs> That's what I'm gathering from this first issue. It's not abundantly clear, mm-hmm. but... It's interesting. Yeah, it's very interesting. Very interesting. So, so when I was... But well, like previews, me and Dylan were like, so like a red box becomes a, a murder machine. Yes. I'm going to give that a shot. But is there deadly consequences? Because if you rent a, say, a romantic comedy, Sexy is that going to you know, mess you up somehow? I think the romantic com- like, <sighs> You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I think if the movie has dire stuff happening in it, it will happen to you. But if it's like a romantic comedy, it might help you. Kind of yeah, thing. Oh, or if you like, yeah. if you rent a you know, Disney movie or something. Yes, yes. You just become but a if, cartoon. <laughs> but if you watch like Hollow Man or something, you'll probably turn invisible. Yes, and then go insane or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah, and... it, sounds, it does sound interesting. But do you turn into Kevin Bacon? Or... <laughs> That's a real curse. Yeah. Very, very, very interesting. Interesting. I recommend yeah. that. Different. Um. Also read Not All Robots, issue two, and that is continuing to be hilarious and absolutely amazing. So you didn't answer my question, Dylan. Is that ongoing or is that a mini? Oh, I don't even know. I think it's a mini, I think. It has to be a mini. I feel like it has to be a mini. Trade, or at least a, a series of minis. I think that's in AWA style. Yeah. I don't like think they really haven't. Yeah. Mm. I don't think they've got really uh, an ongoing, ongoing, I don't think. 
It's, it's really good. The first issue. Dave, you should buy it. It's Mike Diodato. Is that the yes. one you sent panels of? Yes. In the chat? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I would like to get that in. Maybe I'll get the trade. Like, there's this robot that's kind of, he messed up and he accidentally killed like a couple thousand people. So that's he goes good. to a courthouse and there's people protesting out front. And when he goes into the, the courthouse, the, the whole justice system is essentially a computer. He presses and asks him, how do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? And he presses guilty or not guilty. And then it just, it's, it's hilarious. <laughs> cool. All right. Definitely checking that out. And um, the last thing I read was Suicide Squad Get Joker. I read that. Did you read that, Jace? Yeah, I did. Yeah, did. Oh, cool. I oh, see so you caught up. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. It's good. Bit it's of a good first issue. No. Wait, what's yeah. The it's a bit flat, but then the last like two pages, is like, oh, oh, okay, mm. it's gone down. Stuff's about to get real. It was very interesting. Is anybody um, else a little bit confused by how it opened? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I was confused about a lot, really, I thought. Like, what's going on? Why, why are they at the beach? What the... Why are they shooting in the beach? What's going That's on? That's what I want to know. Why are they shooting in the... I guess it's just frustration because they know, like... Yeah. I just think his Joker sent them video and sent them over there to do something. I don't know. He's just playing around with them. And they're just hanging out then as well at the... Uh, yeah, the first quarter of the book, I'm like, what is going on here? Yeah, I was very not, in, not necessarily a bad way, but a little... Mm-hmm. It was so simple before. <laughs> How many issues is it supposed to be? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. Can't remember. Be no, nice did, if they said it on the book did, somewhere. Did Wild Dog is the character, is my favorite character in the book, but how good is he? <laughs> oh, he's pretty good. I just like seeing him leave this something that's more superhero y. Yeah, and got some color. Yeah. Yeah. And he's has defined outlines. Yes, yes, yes. Everything else he's done has been like real more down to earth realism. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's, you know, it's Daredevil, but still it's a courtroom drama, essentially. For sure, for sure. What's the um what's the alternate word for teleport that they use in the book? Yonder. 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 Yeah. Yondering. Yondering. Or that yondering dude's like smoking <laughs> on top of the truck. Yes. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> It helps. It helps um, make his power kick in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was the last thing I read. Um, what did I? I read one more thing. I forget what it was. Chase, do you know? No, I think that's it. Defenders that. Kazar and. Maysbook. Maysbook. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Cool. I read them. <laughs> then you do any reading? Yeah, I read a couple of things. What did you I read? read? Um, Blue and Gold too. Oh yeah. Oh, I How was that? that? Yeah. Same. Same. No, that was pretty good. Um, I think they decide to become heroes for hire, essentially. Cool. With Ted Cord's money. Mm-hmm. Spoilers, Ted Cord gets kicked out of his company, so he doesn't have any more money. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> but that's, that's sort of the cliffhanger it ends on. But I, I really dig. It's less more. Uh, there's less of the um, internet comments that yeah in the first issue. That's, yeah, Dylan there's still some, but not as much. Yeah, it was mainly just like on the one page. Yeah. Right, yeah. I just like the banter between both of them. Danny Ergens can write them really well. Yeah, I, I, was, saw... I couldn't believe I missed it on myself this week. I'm reading my books this morning. I'm like, where's Blue and Gold? I saw this part where they were talking about, um, I think it was Busa, and he's like, oh, how do we kind of um, create a resurgence in our popularity? Oh, maybe I fake my death and then yeah. we wait <laughs> until people want me back. And it's got like... His imagination, it's like the death of Superman, except it's Booster. That's yeah. dead. And everyone's sad about it. Like, <laughs> I don't think it'll happen like that, but yeah. good on you. <laughs> uh, yeah, the uh, only other thing I read was the Me You Love in a Dark issue, too. Oh, yeah, how was oh, that? Yes. This picked up a little bit. There's more conversation between the artist and the, and the spirit in the house. And I think the spirit is not what they claim to be. Mm. The last so, page is very interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll finish this off. See how it goes. It's it picked up, you know. You read it in a second. Pretty much, there's not much words in, not no, many no. words in there. But yeah, that's all I read for this week. That's all I had this week. Fair enough. What about you, farms? 
Well, if um, if Defenders 2 was Book of the Week, that was closely followed by Toxin. Oh, yes. Because that book was very interesting. I always liked Toxin. I thought he was a cool-looking character, uh, a bit wasted, mm. um, kind of came around when the symbiote, there wasn't really a lot going on, so it kind of just died off. And then his main character killed, who was the copper, he got killed. Um yeah, I always thought that was so, a waste. The couple was a cool definitely, idea. Definitely a waste. Um, but now he's come back. He's in the his host is like a 13-year-old kid whose dad works for uh, is a guardsman at Alchemax. Um, so there was a I think I was talking about it in the King in Black, there was a thing where they'll buy fighting each other, and then that one kid comes in the window, the dad comes through the front door, and then just start having a conversation with each uh, after beating the crap out of each other. But this was um more centered around that the void that um that, that a lot of king of black was actually set in where they were trying to plot against um null and yeah some big developments kind of happen in there with toxin and carnage and um i don't know if it was donny cates or it was stegman or whoever decided to do symbiotes with wings but god bless them it's such a good book it's so cool <laughs> Mm. Don't have to swim. You can just fly. And if you're a fan of that, you're going to be a big fan of the last page of this book. So um, that was really cool. It um, sort of makes sense with symbiotes. Of course. Sure. They can, you know. Why did it take so long, to be honest? <laughs> yeah. But, like a malleable exoskeleton, sort of. And you can make wings. You can make swords. If you can make yeah. swords and axes, you can make wings. 100%. Yeah. Funny that. Now, Jay, did you read this? I did. I just finished it. Did you like my, oh, nothing really happened, did it, the other yes. day when I spoke to you? Yes. Well, I'd already sort of flicked through it and sort of seen what had maybe happened. Holy moly. Holy moly. That was left field. Yes. Um, that was left field. So don't want to do any spoilers mm. because the book has only just come out and some people uh, may not have got their deliveries yet. Uh, but kind of the climax of the whole Sinister War, the whole Spencer run, the whole Kindred, who's behind, what's going on, how's it all going down, kind of comes to a head in this book. So, yeah, um, yeah. left field, did not expect uh, the twist that they had um, and kind of sets it up pretty well. Um, he's brought me back, old Spencer. Um, around issue 60, I was not a fan at all. No, issue... 50. I was not much of a fan mm. of this book. Um, but that sinister, that whole sinister war, we're bringing all the different sinister sixes and the savage six and all that together. That was really, really cool. Um, and yeah, really interested how the next couple go and I'm a little bit worried on where it goes on from there, to be honest. Oh, and this, like, this is thrown back to oh, 20 year old storyline that is sort of okay. forgotten. And yeah. not. Received like well very well. Yes, right. yes, yeah. Happily <laughs> forgotten. Happily forgotten. Uh, but yes. But why not? Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, I was um, I was pretty happy with it. Yeah, yeah, me too. Me too. Uh so that's um then so Skybound X. Skybound X is a five-part series that um Image did. I think we talked about a couple of the first issues when they came out, where it was Rick Grimes 2000, and it was just Kirkman over the top ridiculousness <laughs> with aliens and robots. Uh, and it's great. It's a cool, fun story. It was really great. But what I got out of these books a lot more than just the Rick Grimes 2000 was all the backups. Yeah, they're the best part. Um, if you really, if you <clears throat> like some of the stuff that's coming out of Image at the moment, I would definitely recommend in your next delivery, just pick up even a couple of these, even just the first two, uh, and just see what you go because you've got a, what is it, like a $4.99 book. And you're getting four stories in a book. Mm. And some of them are offshoots. Some of them are um, B stories. To So like in issue one, you get a, a B story to Ultra Mega. Uh, in issue two, you get, you get a science dog. No, no, that's issue three. Oh. But issue two, you get a book, uh, a, so Birthright, Machine, uh, Everyday Hero, Machine Boy, and another one called Stillwater. And Stillwater, I had no idea about. So as I'm just flicking through, I read that, and it's Chip Sadarsky. Old Chip Sadarsky kicking more goals. And it's about a whole town where time's just stopped. 
and no one gets older, no one has to eat anymore. Um, like, but they don't want anyone to leave because they don't want anyone to start asking questions and why is this all happening and stuff. Um, and it's yeah, a really cool story. I um, rang up Jay straight after I read it and said, "Have you guys got volume one there?" And I put that in the box because it looks like a really really cool story. This is about a, a story about the like it literally starts because they can't die. The punishment is they they get buried. Ooh. And they bury them alive for a week and then dig them out again. And like Ooh. this kid has done so much bad stuff that no one's there to worry about him getting buried or worry about him when he comes out again. Like it's <laughs> full on. Like Sadaski's done some really good stuff with this. So um really keen to see how where it pans on from. The other crazy one though was in issue four. So yeah, issue three, you get science dog. So it's chapter two, so I was speaking to Jay about that. I think there's a one-shot from a while ago, uh, but you don't really need to have read that to enjoy that story, which is really cool. Science Dog, for all the people that don't know out there, is uh, Invincible's favourite comic book character. But in the if you've only ever watched the TV show, it's Seance Dog that looks like Doctor Strange because it seems like a, it's quite a good property that you don't want to give away that cheaply. Mm -hmm. And we may even see a Science Dog TV show down the track because... That cover of that Skybound yeah. X, um, yeah, man, that that screams, screams put me as a um, as a as a comic book as a um, cartoon character. Now, Especially like a more young skewed thing. I think you'd mm -hmm. make, there's a lot of money in that. Redneck, Donny Cates, B story. He's just going through his old stuff. He's writing his memoirs, and he can't remember anything from the the late eighties. And he talk, and he's in LA and he starts <laughs> this is mental. He starts um, so Redneck's about a family of vampires that live in Texas. I think pretty sure it's Texas. Oh, that one. Yeah. Yes. So this is when he's in the, in LA in yeah, the 80s. Yeah, I'm sure what you're talking about. And he's biting junkies and <laughs> getting all mucked Ooh. up from that. And then he's worked out his little um, his little go-to mix is junkie blood with paint thinners <laughs> and calls it a, a blood wiser. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So then he rocks up and they're hanging out at this club and this guy, this big frizzy haired guy starts chatting to him and hanging out and um, they're seeing how messed up he is. This random, and yeah, this random dude wearing a top hat all, all um, gunked out, like pale and everything. He's like, this is the guy with the good stuff. And um, yes, gets up this guy, um, gets high with him, takes his top hat, and he's um, getting absolutely messed up with Guns N' Roses. <laughs> so that was Slash that he gave the top hat yeah. to. Just excellent. Donny Cates, as usual, on fire. So as I said, the Rick Grimes stuff is really cool, but all the extras that you get out of that Skybound yeah. X, I highly recommend. So five issues, really cool ongoing story, especially the overtopness of that Rick Grimes 2000. Like, just like... Talk about giant robots and <laughs> amalgams and um, just, yeah, that, absolute that craziness. Giant zombie zombie kaiju thing, thing yes. was great. Yeah, zombie you kaiju. Know. There you go. Um, speaking of kaiju, I finally read Ultra Mega 4. Um, that's the end of the arc, and I'm really, really, I know you said it's going to be a while because it's so intricate and so full on, and the book's really long too, um, but I just want more of that book because... Yeah. I, I think I finally figured out what's going on. And the <laughs> <laughs> um, that Spider-Man uh, life story annual that JJ uh, Joe Jonah mm. was sensational. It was great. Spider-Man Crossroads was really good. I like where that's going. And Hulk next issue. And Kang after your raving reviews about it the other week, really enjoyed that too. Um, it was just worked out that was one of the first books I read. So. That's got the least amount of memory about it, but fully caught up now. So yeah. I think I'm going to go back and start hammering my Venom omnibuses and start again. It's been a while since I've read those. So, yeah. Good job. It's a good week. Excellent. Okay. Comic related. Um, Amazing Fantasy. Was it 15? It's first parent Yes. Mm -hmm. Sold. CGC 9.6. For three point six million dollars, is that right? Yes, new Dude, record. That's, that's beating cheap. Action Comics number one. Too cheap. 
<laughs> yeah, so that happened this week. Yeah, it was crazy. Like, How nuts is that? I just, man. I, yeah. I, I, and I get those books, those first appearance of those key characters in the 40s to the 60s, they're going to just keep going up and up and up because they're going to find more forever homes. You know what I mean? Like yeah. people that are dropping that kind of coin don't need to sell, you know? Ain't much people like you buy that for free six. You're not going to sell it just because you can get four for it. You know, like mm-hmm. they're, they're long-term hold on side of deals. Um, but yeah, the fact that it can be from 1962 and get a 9.6 is a bit ridiculous. So 9.6 yeah. is a near mint plus. That's yeah. that's a bit sus. He's that's struggling with much... some books that just get delivered to your shop these days. To get None of them. Plus. Yeah. The best you get, you get is probably 9.6 out of the box at the shop. And like, I, they do, they are more lenient and older stuff as you have to be because we didn't have bags and boards and all the yeah axil- axillary stuff that helps protect them, I guess. But whew, I'd like to, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and like, I'm yeah, you know, Heritage Auctions ran the auction. Um, you know, they've been in the in the news a bit lately for some maybe. Min- market manipulation and maybe some mm. underhanded tactics. So it's always a bit, hmm, who's benefiting I, out of this? Who's actually buying this? What's going on? I could probably, I could see probably because the new Spider Man's movie coming out. Yeah. I think that may have affected the price on it. I reckon it'll it go went, up to five. It went down since the trailer came out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but after the new game and after the new movie comes out, I reckon it'll go up a bit more. Mm. Yeah, Spider Man's a bit hot I'd, property. At the I'd moment, sell it so. for five if I bought it. And he is. Why? Yeah. Why don't you just eat it like huh? I'm a dude? <laughs> <laughs> you would, Dave. You'd wait. And then they'd kill Spider Man. Wait and, and wait and wait and wait. Oh, maybe. Oh, they'd kill wait. him off, yeah. yeah. No, no, but then you'd wait again. <laughs> yeah, you'd miss it completely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, the fact that it's, it's going more than action is. Blows my mind, mind right? right? Superman, first, first superhero. If there's no Superman, there's no Spider-Man. Yeah, 1938. Yes. What was that oh. 20, 24 years older? Oof. Yeah. When was the last time one of those sold at a 9.6, though? <sighs> was there ever a 9.6? Uh, no, you think no. it's going to be pretty hard to get something as an action at nine anything. They didn't have yeah. white paper back then. <laughs> it was all just yellow on the shelf. That yeah. was the last action that broke the record. That was, I think that was a nine something. I think really, oh, it wasn't like a five or something. Or something I think it yeah, was. nine no two maybe or something like that. Yeah, no lovely nice. And like I said, you know they're gonna be yeah, if it's if it's a different grade for red, uh, golden age books and stuff. Yeah, maybe. you uh, have to right. Yeah, you to. yeah. You can't treat but, it the same as a book from a year ago. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. The, hey, man, I'm not. A, you know, CGCs the. Whatever, I'd rather I would rather to have an amazing fantasy in my hand and I can read and touch and smell. It's mad. That's just me. Yeah, uh, it might be worth less after I've touched it and sniffed all the goodness, but I'm okay with that. I'll sniff the dollars out of it. <laughs> Consume all the fumes in it. Yeah. So I guess I want to just sleep one, and mm. I would prefer one I can read mm. and hold and just turn the pages and smell all that. Cut code. out the to get the yeah yeah X-ray goggles. X-ray specs, yeah. <sighs> Uh, <laughs> what's next alrighty action figures yes. um, Princess Bride action figures that Nitin brought to our attention yes. I can't wait I want them all Who, who's, so cool. who's doing that is that McFarlane, McFarlane? yeah oh. Oh, geez, man. Yeah. they're branching out hard so you got Physic you got Ingear what's it and then got Ingear. 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 yeah I always mess that name up <laughs> The name name guy messed up the name. Yeah. The guy who yeah, says he's on the name like 20 yes, times yes. in the movie. <laughs> I'll buy them all. <laughs> my, yeah, I'll buy them all, though. You drip Pryor Roberts and you got Buttercup. So Makes me just want to watch Princess mm. Bride. They look mm. pretty good, too, though. They do. Especially the Andre. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just get by for the Andre, strip him, and then just like wrestle with him. I want to. <laughs> you know. Where's the box? Where's the box set of. Fred Savage and the grandpa though. You'll get it. Thank you. All right? Yeah, and then the box should transform into the bed. Yes. This little chair. Yeah, it'd be great. But you do those figures and then that comes out later. Because mm. mm. you still got to do the bad guys. That's true. 
Well, I don't know if we're getting them because you've done your load in this. Who, who, that second wave is by that. You know? You need to save um, somebody for a second wave if you want to do more, I feel. They you do know? look cool, though. And I will buy yeah, one of them. Good. I'll hook you up. Hopefully. Probably. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, also got new Lego set. Uh, now, this was cool. This was crazy, wow. right? Check it out. Oh, that's so good. Question mark block. Super Mario. In 64. particular, Super Mario 64. Got a, got a couple of little diorama pieces up there oh. of levels from Mario 64. Um, man. Highly how- recommend checking out the video of how it just falls in. Falls yeah. Out. Yeah. 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 They've it's already got just- three on order. So. It's just these Nintendo sets, they've always, all of them have been out, out of the box, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Um, they're not just doing like a Princess Beach Castle or a, Bra- a Bowser airship. They're doing st- stuff that's weird and not necessarily what you'd consider at first. Mm-hmm. And props to them for doing that. Yeah. Yeah, because well, when I watched the video the other day, I'm like, cool, it's a square box with a question mark. Oh my God. <laughs> but wasn't there another video that had the, sp- the, sp- the airship and it opened out as well. Oh, yes, I think. Am I, I think yes. Or did I imagine that? No, I think they're doing uh, something like that, aren't they? Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I'll huh. have to come back and show you guys that because I saw that during the week. I went, hang on a minute. That's really cool. And it was a proper, proper Lego ad, too. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Because she's the little girl is in, yeah. Um, like she's in her living room and she comes around on the table and then opens the ship up and it opens up to exactly similar to what the, uh, is it the Mario based one or is it just a normal ship though? Yeah, no, 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 no. It's Mario based. Oh. You said Bowser. Oh. It's Bowser's airship. Because nice. I've seen, yeah, play sets, like normal toy play sets of the airship, but I haven't seen a Lego set. Yeah, because it's the new talking Mario. Have you seen those? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 You want one of them, Piecing it together live on the I got that. Spent so got, much money. Oh, yeah, I got that. I got to get all the sets. Cool. Because they talk and they got the little yeah. hearts and yeah, yeah. yeah they are. I think the shirts in general are pretty cool. Have you seen for me if you put that Mario on top of like the um TV. the TV for the yes. NES, it plays the music and it plays the sound effects. Oh, on top of the TV. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like the old Booney doll. Yeah. <laughs> as you wind the TV and Mario starts jumping and collecting coins, it plays that's the sound effects so and cool. the music. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, that looks sick. Like, yeah, that's great. Right. Jay just leveled up. Yeah. <laughs> is, is, there a, is there a price yet for that question mark block? Oh, dude, don't because... ask questions. I don't want yeah. the answer to. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. If, mm. They just announced it, so maybe in the next couple of weeks. If I had to guess, you like Australian, it had to be over 200, right? Well, yeah, just a piece of size. Oh, like, yeah. how, big are those, yeah. how big are those side yeah. things? If they're only like this small, then... You know, three hundred. You could be looking at yeah, three hundred. Yeah, how much was mm. the TV console? It was about four hundred. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, actually, uh, no, three fifty. Three fifty. Mm, I would okay. say it's probably comparable to that then. Yeah, because it's got like a mechanism as well. Yeah, exactly. Mechanisms in it. Yeah. Depends how big it is. Because if it's, I don't know. We yeah. can kind of That's work it. it out because Lego studs, right? Yeah. I reckon it'll be about the same. Mm. Yeah, you see that Titanic one though, the predicted oh, Titanic right. one. Oh, it's like a rumor or something. Twelve yeah. thousand pieces or something. Something yeah. like that. It's crazy. I'm just like, who's gonna buy that? Just, who, 120, yeah. 000. Was that it? Where do you put that? Not... Like, where do you put that? You would need, I don't know, on your mantle. Yeah. Because that would be bigger than the Millennium Falcon. Maybe yeah. bigger than the Star yeah. Destroyer. Oh, they're saying it's the, probably the biggest one ever. Yeah. 12,000 well, pieces. Yeah. And because yeah. it's all sort of rumors and whatever. I was like, yeah. are they going to do like a, a crowdfunding deal for it? Like a HasLab thing? Oh. That's the only way I could see that working. Because mm. what retail, yeah. like, like even if just themselves, it's just box alone. and Yeah. yeah. But if I use existing pieces, then they'll just build it and make it and sell it. I mean. Sell it where and how though? Yeah, true. How do you know? Because like, the thing for this, probably yeah, like, online only. It would be know? how do you know how many to make though? Yeah. You know, like if you do a, 
crowdfunding sort of deal. You know what the market is and how many mm-hmm. you need to make. I reckon they'll just do small production runs, like a few hundred, and then cut it, and then if there's demand, maybe make it more another small. Yeah, market. yeah. But yeah. What was the biggest ridiculous. collection uh, piece before this? Um, the world map, I think. So yeah, it yeah. uses, I think it uses like um, like single tile um pieces to Ooh. make, yeah. Oh, that sounds. I haven't exactly seen it, but yeah. So I think of like just the world map and then like each country is made of multiple little yep. single pieces, yeah. That sounds tedious. It yeah. does. <laughs> like yeah. that, that's not fun at all to make. You'll, you'll, forget, you'll forget Tasmania as well. Just like, uh, for sure. Yeah. Every island would be non-existent. Yeah. yeah. Man, like building structures and vehicles. Need yeah, special, I like building vehicles, but like something would, like that. You yeah. would need special pieces to make the uh, the coastlines. Accurate. Yes. Or accurate as. Oh, if can. it's if it's that big, then you probably won't need to. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, because like, it's like it's like pixel art at that point. Like yeah. You can right yeah. kind of replicate the Blockiness. shapes. Yeah. Okay. Next up, we got. A bunch of um, Marvel video game announcements. They're going all in with video <laughs> games. Oh. All in, man. You got all in is just a teaser. Yeah, and they're like two years yeah. away. Yeah. Right. That's Freaking cool. cinematic trailer. Good, might be able to buy PlayStation, PlayStation 5 by then. Exactly right. be back yeah. in store. Well, I need it right now because I want... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Spider-Man 2, right? Sequel to Insomniac's uh, Spider-Man on PS4. Um, that is coming out 2023. Yep. And, oh, man. Perfect time for Jason to buy a PS5. Exactly. <laughs> you know, it's time. good marketing for the Venom movie as well. Because, mm. yeah. Yeah. We, oh, well, then, seen the bang. But it is what a bit that? odd. What do you need to t- get hot people hyped for something that's coming two years away? I yeah, man. Like, yeah. I think like, it's because of the movie for that. Yeah, nah. For sure. Mm-hmm. Sony, Sony. Yeah. That the makes latest, sense. The latest Metroid that's coming out next month, there has not been like a 2D Metroid in like 15 years. This one got announced like three months ago. No one knew anything about it. It got announced three months ago. They had gameplay, ready to go. Bam, right there. It's coming in three months. Here, it's like, oh. Yeah, because they probably haven't even started working on it. Yeah. But also, (laughs) that's all they've done. You don't think that's also a bit problematic? The Spider-Man game was a very big hit. You know, Spider-Man games are always going to sell good and whatever, but was it going to be like five years between games? Oh, strike while the iron's hot, people. Mm. And like, it's Miles going to be, will be a man. <laughs> it's going to be in New York, so you're not going to be rebuilding a map, right? Yeah. They might make it bigger because it's a PS5. Yeah. You know, flesh it out a bit more. Mm. That's true. Maybe add more. Because the first one was just Midtown, really. Oh, oh, yeah. It was only... Midtown. Yeah, yeah. It was Man- Manhattan Island. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was just Manhattan Island. Mm. So you Tony Todd, the guy, the candy man, his voice yeah. in Venom? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, good, nice. good that guy's got a great voice. Yeah, yeah, and a new one's coming out soon, I think. New candy man maybe as well. It is. Mm. You got um, okay. figures for it the other week, didn't you? Or... Uh, there might have been classic ones. I can't remember. Yeah, I think oh, one the classic. Maybe. Yeah, because it's one of those retro style cloth figures, I think. Yeah. But that, what about the Wolvie? Can't yeah. wait to see what that's going to be like, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In, Insomnia games yeah. as well. Yeah. Same, yeah. same devs working on that game. It's going to be hard to, because Spidey, like, the main appeal was like him just going, like, the vast the traversal yeah. right yeah, yeah like swinging through and like such a big map i think wolverine has to have something like that is similar and all i can think of is him on his bike just like yeah. going oh, around, so i just you know? thought it'd be totally different structures sort of thing it I mean, will yeah, but you linear. need you need something to replace that otherwise it's just gonna be you know oh you'll do your own bikes and stuff yeah i would rather a more linear game for yeah. wolverine mm-hmm. But just the trend of these days is open world, open world. Rubbish, open world. man. And I hope they don't do that, but I have a feeling they we, might. 
Because I want, yeah. I, yeah, I just want a proper story where it goes different levels and different locations. Like, I want to see yeah. Magipur. I want to see mm-hmm. in Japan. Oh, that's number two. That's number two. Yeah, yeah like more specialized yeah. levels where you can. Yeah. Do... I don't want just him running around yeah. a city. He's yeah. not going to leave America. Boring. Number one. Yeah, you don't no. I don't know. Sequel, sequel will be Japan for sure, hundred percent. Yeah, but with these kind of games, you're talking about a sequel. This game doesn't come out for another two years. Then a sequel will maybe another four years after that. Like, I don't yeah. think. They that can wait for a sequel. Yeah. yeah, you need it for the first game to do all those things. That's the whole point. You gotta yeah, make a good just, game if, first. If you're talking about a movie, yeah, but for a video game, you need all that shit in the one thing. Yeah. Yeah, but it's we're more... gonna we're gonna do this no matter what. You know, they want to probably make a bit more money. No, but you know how you if, make if it they, the most money, yeah. Dave? Make a great first game. And they yeah. learned that with Spider-Man. Yeah. If you hold that's stuff why, off, and that's I agree with what Jay said around this strike while the iron's hot. But if we if it, if I'm going to wait two more years to get an even better game, then so mm. be it. Like they know the money's sitting there anyway, and by that time, a lot more people will have PlayStation Fives. And if they don't, this is a bloody good hook. Yeah. Because we'll get PlayStation Six at the time. time well, that might be the case. There could be a PlayStation Six Honestly. Five slash Six exclusive. Yeah. But at the time when Spider Man Two comes out and there's a black PlayStation Five Venom Edition, <laughs> like. Yeah. Come on, Sony, marketing. For sure. Yeah, like this Wolvie game, it has to be like God of War, right? Like a hack and slash, yeah. super yeah. brutal, super yeah. violent. Yeah, Fingers never crossed. mind these two. God of War new trailer came out. That looks awesome. Oh, yes. Okay, I God want of that. War, Ragnarok. Look at these two. <laughs> you got to play that first one, Jason, of like the new, the, the last oh, one. Nah, it looked too hard, man. It's the closest, it's, it's the best ball so game hard. you'll ever play. It is. It's been so hard, like. <laughs> I yeah, the, like the, just, the first boss guy. Hard and boring. <laughs> I just have no patience. <laughs> well, actually, no, Jay, Jace would be frustrated so hard. Well, I watched actually, the I watched <laughs> these two trailers the other day. I'm like, sweet, that's two games I won't ever play. <laughs> I'm sure they'd be good. More, game, them, more games are coming out, shelf, and that's it. More games are coming out now, that. where it's just like you can watch the story and you can watch like someone play through like. And that's the saddest thing in the world, Dave. What? Yeah. Don't get excited on like, that. It's pretty much what? probably just a one button like fighting. You yeah, know, what's the like, point what? of that? Yeah. What? Who, who, what's the game. What game? Give me a. Give me a. What are you talking about, Dave? Like, um, one of them, I can off my head is Catherine. It's a puzzle it's game. Off your head. Um, okay. It's like a Japanese puzzle game, but yeah. you could make it so. You just watch like the game being played and watch it. So like tutorial mode, and it just happens in front of you as it's going. Like you don't even touch a button. Like it just goes through the level, plays through the story, and that's it. Like, it's called a television program. Yeah, like, yeah it's pretty much that. Like most games weird. are starting to be like that. Anyway. So yeah, weird. I know, and it's terrible. Yeah, I don't, I don't play them because they're too hard. But the last thing I want to do is these games. Like the story, what? Like obviously you want a good story. I'm playing a game to have fun. That's why I don't Absolutely. play it because I'm not having fun because it's too hard and I get frustrated. Because like I, I want to watch something, I watch something. I tried to get into The Last of Us, right? And when I played that, I was like, man, this is like Resident Evil, but boring because you were mm. walking in a straight yeah, line. Resident Evil, you just get plonked in this mansion. Where do you go? You don't know. You have to explore. You got to, oh, I found a locked door. I need to find a key. Yep, I yep. can't go here. Last of Us, Similar mechanics, except you're walking in a straight line in between cutscenes, and I got really bored. Like, I want to play a game. I don't want to watch a movie. Because the game part's the filler instead of the other yes, way around. Exactly. The number one important thing in The Last of Us is the story, not the game. Well, that right. bored me. So hard. Bored. Yeah. Well. What else we got, You got that rant out of the way? Yes. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. I, I played Last of Us for like 15 minutes after people raved about it and went, nah. But I was yeah. the same with Fallout. So, and then, but people screamed me for being like that with Fallout. So, <laughs> anyway. but I, I'm actually now, after seeing the Spider Man 2 trial, like, I'm going to get back and finish Spider Man. So, mm, yes, you do. You really now do. I've got to figure out what all the buttons do again. Okay. So, yeah, that, that adult tutorial. It's too many buttons. Do you know, especially that because then you got the combinations of the yeah, too many. The other oh, the combos and stuff suits yeah and then the bombs you can throw and then you forget about the ah. i just want one button punches one button swings one button blocks one button runs whatever that's it that's all i need yeah, don't play 
I bought an NFL game two years ago. And oh. the attack and the defense and the it's mental. It took right. me two. It took me so long just to learn it. And then you don't play for two weeks and you forget it. It's like, uh, that sounds like Doom Eternal in a nutshell. Oh, yeah. Too hard. I'm happy my old men. <laughs> Where's the nest with the two buttons? Two buttons. Two was, buttons on the nest. Two buttons was perfect. Thank you. Just also, that metal like- slug where you just shoot. Yeah. Just, I'm just shooting everything. And then I get a shotgun. And then I shoot that as well. And I jump a bit and I save some people. But you never save anybody in Metal Slug. You never save <laughs> No. Anybody. Well, you save them and you die. You, so you you both them. of you should get Pro Force. Yeah, Pro Force is great. Oh, yeah, man. Pro Force. Pro Ooh, Force. that is a fantastic game. Oh, we didn't play Pro Force? Oh, no, that was good. Pro Force. Is oh, if you yeah, highly the, recommend it. If you got the PlayStation 4, the Predator Hunting Grounds is free this month. Mm. I bought that a while ago. Jason did too, and then he rage quit the tutorial. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bought it too, and it was like it was online only, and I didn't even play it. Yeah, I couldn't work cool. out. I, I, I couldn't work out how to jump up to a cliff or something like this. It's from the, oh, the makers of um, <laughs> from the makers of the Friday the Thirteenth game. Yeah, yeah. So when I thought I'd mention it, just could be another one. Um, check it out. Yeah. Cool. Alrighty. Everyone has and rage quit already. Yep. <laughs> Not just me. I think I was like, Beck, do this for me. <laughs> and I got up there and started getting shot. I'm like, nah, turn it off. <laughs> Done. Okay, next up, we've got some movie trailers to talk about. Yes. The Matrix Resurrections. Yeah, that was, yeah, it was yeah. a trailer. It and was the Matrix. All right. Underwhelming. I'm sure it'll it? be okay, but doesn't it? Will it? Well, you know when what? Was the last know. time they made a good movie, Speed Racer. Speed Racer. Speed Racer. <laughs> they will have no, they haven't made anything since though. Oh, is that true? A continuation? Jupiter's or legacy. A, no, no, not Jupiter's legacy. Jupiter's ascending. Yeah, I didn't watch rubbish. That. I didn't watch that. What was there something else after that that was rubbish? Cloud Atlas? Maybe, yeah. They did Cloud, Cloud Atlas. Atlas. Yeah. yeah, they did Cloud Atlas. I didn't mind Cloud Atlas, but I also watched it on a plane, so I, I think I fell asleep. <laughs> That's not the movie times? <laughs> that's, I don't think that's the movie's fault. This is late because I can't sleep on a plane, so it's very late into the plane. Fly. I'm like, I just watch something. Yeah. Like the Matrix, like I'm sure. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm sure it'll be good. And I get the whole point is that it's reboot. Like that's what it is. That's mm-hmm. the story and whatever. But I was just like, I've seen this movie 20 years ago, and the trailer didn't excite me. I wanted to no. excite me. I'm, yeah. It you needed to give me good. something, right? Yeah, like just something fresh as well. Yeah, there was nothing fresh like new. It was know? oh, okay. So he's okay. I'm here in White Rabbit again. He's yeah. chasing the White Rabbit. Like, Tablets again. It's the same. Oh, yeah, it really felt like the same old thing again. And just g- more generic looking. You know, like that first one, it had a look. It's very much a look of its time. Oh, that that new camera effect that it used yep. and everything like that. It was it was groundbreaking at the time. And more like it had that super anime vibe, mm. both in look and feel and this just yeah. looks like a hollywood movie hmm. the action no, is, you know. is just normal you know what it looks like it's like the the hollywood version yeah the hollywood version of a movie on a tv show like aquaman in entourage yes 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 you know yes. what i mean like it's the dodge version yeah it really just seems <laughs> i don't know look something might happen in the next trailer that for really sure pulls it out i do but, believe they'd be hiding some cards up their sleeve but it didn't get me excited no at all no mm. so is it supposed to be a continuation or restart yeah. yes. or... that's the other thing i don't know it's, it's supposed to be a continuation. continuation doesn't look like a continuation at all it's just no, like, at think, the end, know, he sort of that's the point doesn't he give up and then they just the machines put him back to sleep sort of thing like you can't escape yeah, the matrix i think in like in the third one they said this it happens a lot yeah it's a ragnarok cycle yeah so it just maybe this is another iter- iteration of yes that yes. cycle but I don't know. It's another iteration of the cycle. They just couldn't get Fishburn for it. Yeah. <laughs> so it is a remake. They're just not calling it that. Pretty much. I think it's. I think it's a sequel. Yeah, it's a sequel. Because it's Matrix. Yeah, but 4, if it actually. involves them rebooting, then. <laughs> yeah, it's like. But that's structurally that's integral in the story. Yeah. Originally. Yeah. Structurally, it does look like the first movie. It's like yes. a Force Awakens kind of thing, right? Yes. 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 <laughs> Well, that's where it lost me when we got the, the fight scene in the like kung fu thing. I'm like, shit, Zach, 
just, yeah, man. Like, please. It's, hey, remember this movie? Yeah. Wasn't it good? Yeah, yeah it was really good. Yeah. Needed some member berries. That whole oh, trailer just massive. gave member berries central. I remember. See, but <laughs> I think it'll be it'll be okay because the same person from like the first Matrix hmm. or one of them. Yeah. Man, we've been locked up for three months. I'll go and watch anything right now. I don't care. Well, first of all, this is Shang Chi. Oh, mm. yeah. Uh, don't. Anyway. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. As, uh, the other trailer that we saw was this stop motion awesomeness that Dylan put us onto. Yeah. yeah I stumbled God. upon this. Um, just scrolling through YouTube as you do, and then I saw that, and it was like a thumbnail of like. Yeah, that guy on the poster. I'm like, oh, that looks cool. It's like a That's robot not man. How I scroll on YouTube. Nick. I know. I... I don't know what the hell you were doing. <laughs> maybe you've just been watching a bunch of tool film clips or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that is a rare find, dude. Well, well done. Don't get me wrong. But... Yeah, I'm glad I found it, man. It's just tricky, bizarre, grotesque. Yeah. Just yeah, you need to watch it, people. Yeah, because we can't really um tell you what happens in no. it because we can't really gather what's happening. But it's one of those. Stop motion looks, is about all I got. Yeah. yeah. And it looks very nice. Oh, it's very pretty. It just seems it's more of a it just sound weird, a visual movie instead of a plot movie. Mm-hmm. Mm, absolutely. Does that make sense? Yeah, it'd be a bit light on narrative, I think. Mm, it just seems like it's a, it's a connection of visuals, which I don't mind. No, if it's good, it's good. Mm. Yeah, but just real trippy, real horror esque. Depend on top length, though. Mm. I don't want to watch yeah. that for two hours. <clears throat> the plot: <laughs> a corroded diving bell descends amidst a ruined city, and an assassin emerges emerges from it to explore a labyrinth of bizarre landscapes inhabited yep. by a freakish designs. Yep, so, it's just a visual movie. Yeah, I was going to say that makes no more sense. I know. <laughs> And it's just yeah, that, someone goes otherwise... into a fantasy world and you just see yeah. fantasy scenes. A guy sees which is cool. Because from hour twenty, so yeah. Is he is he big oh, budget yeah. sizzle reel? Oh yeah, absolutely. Somebody give me a job. I used to be the best at this. No, the computers took yeah. my job. Yeah. Yeah. You cool. can make using Blender make stuff look like it's stop motion. Yeah. Mm, that's sad, is isn't it? You showed me that space thing, Dylan. That yes, ridiculous. I'm not sure if I. I think I might have showed uh, you, Jace, like mm, yeah, a couple yeah, yeah. seconds. It was like um, all made in Blender, but it was it looked like a stop motion, like piece think, from that. And they added. I think they even added strings. Yeah, it was sad. As well. Oh wow! Well. Yeah, I don't want to watch this. And the puppets have hair, and then frame by frame, the hair might jolt that way because they move the puppet and it brush the hair kind of thing the little tiny details they can replicate in blender these days mm. so it's technically amazing yes but you're like you'll just just make a fucking puppet it's sad <laughs> yeah what? folks check out the mad god trailer we, it can, looks can really trippy <laughs> <laughs> just make a puppet yeah. uh, make a note dylan and then make a puppet. Pop, new yeah, new pop, logo pop Puppet talk. Okay. Puppets. All right, I think we are up to uh, what if from this week. Mm-hmm. What did everybody think of this one? Matt. Yeah. yeah. I like the episode, but for different reasons. Oh, oh well, you ruined part of my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then Dave, they, they, go on. Why didn't you? Go, Dave. Yeah, you go first and I'll rant. Because I love you. Probably reasons. the best Spider Man I've seen for a while. Did you like play the, the game? The character itself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> apart, apart from the game. Apart from the game. The game is a million like, times better. Oh, yeah, but like just... Because he's not a sidekick. Yeah, but he's not really like sort of a sidekick in this because he is alone and he is going... And they do mention Uncle Ben and what Aunt May will tell him to do and how, like how he goes on. Cause of I Ben. I understand what you mean, you know, man. Like... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I understand what you mean, but I don't agree. I find him annoying. Yeah, man. When the first bit of Spider Man you get is this weird, quirky zombie land home video that he's done. Mm. It's not Peter Parker, man. man. I, like people are dying, people being turned into zombies. Thank Peter you, Parker Dylan. takes it seriously when he needs to. Like he's yeah. not Deadpool. 
Yep. Mm-hmm. When it's to do with people that he cares about. And it's especially a rip off of Zombie Land. Yes. <laughs> it is. Yes. It kind of annoy me because he Maybe just... that's his coping mechanism, Dylan. Maybe he's still young. He was too cheerful. It's his whole thing. Yeah. Too cheerful. Yes. Um, like when the whole Marvel Zombies thing, I just did not care about when it was happening at yeah. all. So this was just like, yeah, whatever. First miniseries was a great idea. Yeah. Yes. 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 And why does all these what ifs have to be so MCU centric? It's killing me. We had an amazing Marvel zombie story there that Kirkman wrote. Man can write zombies. And you could have adapted part of that or just give me that as a story. Yeah. Yes. Even yes, if yes. that's your what if. Elements. If you yes. take elements and you make it, okay, the series is clearly MCU inspired. It, it's so yeah. MCU. It it's limits so MCU. it. MCU. It, there's so many other good characters you can have, but it just no, because it's got to be MCU. Yeah, it's so disappointing. And they were, did it also feel maybe they're a little bit too powered? The zombies, because mm. they they had memories and they could clearly operate. Their you know Tony Stark knew how to use Iron Man suit, blah blah blah, well, that kind of stuff. Yeah, well, Strange still using the, the magic, the magic, full magic yeah. to kill the Dark Order and stuff. It just felt. They weren't, maybe they're a bit too tough. And like, I know Zombie Hawkeye missed a couple of times and stuff like that, but I, just, I don't know. Just... I think you can get away with it by saying it's not actual zombie. It's, you know, it's an alien yeah, parasite yeah, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So it's not, you know, technically yeah, the zombies. That they're not know. undead. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah, in yeah, yeah. Marvel zombies, they could still talk and stuff, right? Yeah, yes, but it was, yeah. they would talk, but it was still oh, like. Brains. Oh, okay. Well, not that bad. But like Hulk, like they'd had about mm. 15, 15 bees, yeah, about forty shots, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> swimming up the street. Because, yeah. and there was a, there were a couple of elements like T'Challa with the leg missing and stuff. Mm. There was a couple of elements from the original Marvel Zombies, but just not enough. The thing that like I was not enjoying it over, like it wasn't terrible, but like it's not like it was the Black Panther one. But like no, 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 the no. final straw was division just turns on a dime for nothing. Oh, you're right, Avengers. Oh, bad. I yeah. suppose I'll kill myself now. Why? Okay. <laughs> it's just out of nowhere for no reason. Yeah, yeah. Look, I, and I was so excited to get this episode. I thought it was going to be the second mm. last one because the the IMD, IMDb Thanks rundown and because of old Marvel zombie stuff and yeah. the second book wasn't great, but it was still okay and just. Yeah, just so much potential for all those other characters. I think that's what the biggest disappointment is. Fair enough, you have some basis for MCU, but it doesn't need to be all MCU. It just, yeah, I don't know. I just, think they're holding back till Multiverse comes out and then they'll go open slather on everything. Cause they oh, can. no. It's just that the MCU, the, the audience is for the MCU. It's the, it's yeah. the audience. The audience yeah, yeah, but once, once, they, 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 the niche. once yeah. they expand that MCU to Multiverse, then... But this this they stuff is dealing so. with the multiverse already. Uh, yeah, but it's just a what if based on MCU at the moment. But then, when they do what if based on MCU with a multiverse, then they can probably go a bit more insane or more towards comic stories or whatever, you know. Mm. Bucky was better. <laughs> oh, Bucky was better. That's it. Yes, he must have had a good had... look at himself. <laughs> It's because he had Mark terrible. Ruffalo next to him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Mark Ruffalo took all the hits. <laughs> God, he was terrible. Uh, yeah. And man, can can I just? Uh, I just want maybe a couple of scenes where people are taking it seriously. They just they were constantly joking. It's the whole MCU. Marvel way. It's Wasp. The Marvel. Yeah. Well, MCU Wasp, way. Wasp just kills Sharon and then makes a joke about it immediately. Freaking. I got Sharon on me. Yeah. Okay. Like, man, you just exploded her, dude. Yes. Like, you were talking you were to just, her like five yeah. minutes ago. And you clearly have seen some nasty stuff together. Yes. Right? Like. Yeah. Mm. All in all, the show's been pretty disappointing. Like one good episode. But like when they first announced it, I was Two like, this episodes. is going to be great. And then they said yeah. it was going to be MCU, and I knew what we were going to get. Yeah. And then we watched that first one, and I was like, this would be the best episode we get. By far. And it is by far. 
third one was pretty good. The third one was. Oh, I like the third one the, the third best. One was so good. Far. Yeah, I, I did. Had the most all. amount of. Yeah. yeah, that same day. That's the reason I liked that yeah. the most. It, it didn't just follow the platform of female, female first Avenger, because I'd seen that movie. Yes, yes, yes. Which was fine. Yes. Unless they did what we said, where they turned Steve as the Winter Soldier, that would have been cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's so far. What we're halfway now. Is that five? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's only nine. So yeah. Well, when I get home on a Wednesday, I'm not excited. It's more a chore. I better watch. Yeah, so like that's just not right. I've forgotten about it like two times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's one today. Um, Even I guess... Paul Rudd couldn't save it. Oh, Futurama head. Freaking mm. Paul Rudd. I thought they yeah. might have had a chance of that, but no, no chance. It's because it was someone else writing jokes for him. I yeah. don't think they can make like a Paul Rudd cartoon version that looks younger than Paul Rudd. Seriously. <laughs> like that man is ageless. He just gets lots of work done, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon I reckon he goes home and goes in like a chirogenic like frozen <laughs> thing and then when he's ready. Next day, it just unlocks it. No, it's out. like that episode of South Park with the... <laughs> with the stem Pac-Man. cells. Pac-Man. <laughs> Please, Dylan, next. All righty, Dave. It was your film flashback. Film. This week. It was Short Circuit. Mm. A story about robot number five going rogue or becoming alive after... A... Achieving sentience. Mm. Yes. After a short circuit, probably hits him by a lightning. So, you hadn't seen it, Dylan? I hadn't seen it. Oh, what do you think then? Um, I've got mixed feelings about it. Um, I really, I started off really enjoying it, and then it kind of dragged um, a bit in the middle, and I kind of got like started find number five a little bit annoying. Um, then towards the end, I started like. Um, Generally, when when him and like the the, the programmer dude start talking in the desert, I really like that. It's, it's kind of when it turned back around for me. But yeah, I liked it. Didn't age well as I thought it would. <laughs> oh, bro. It's no, so definitely that didn't. Made me a little bit uncomfortable. That was probably one of the big reasons. Yeah. yeah. Did he molest you? <laughs> what the hell? What kind of reporter asked that as the first question? <laughs> Did the robot molest you? And then you got the Indian fellow talking about how he's got a chubby later in the movie. There's a weird script writing in that film. He's not even Indian, uh, is it? White dude. Yeah. No, Fisher's yeah, yeah, yeah. not Indian here, but he was putting it on. Yep. No, I was, wait, I was waiting from, for him. He's from yeah, Pittsburgh. Dude. Hey? What's that? Sorry, John. Oh, I, was, I, was say, wait, I was waiting for him huh. to say, show us your bobs. <laughs> That's it, right? Like, oh, it Dave? was terrible. Yeah, he's from Pittsburgh. It's not Indian. What are you talking about? Yeah, that made I, I okay. got confused with the second one because all I was waiting for, I'm like, Jennifer. when does he dress up like a punk? Same. Hmm. When does he dress up like a punk? What's Same. going on? I'm like, now I'm going to watch the stupid second one. No, you don't. Bloody hell. Because I was watching, I'm like, oh, I'm getting my. No, hmm. most of my memories I've got this movie are the second one. Yes. 100%. Yeah. And I've seen the first one. Friendly. Yeah. yeah. And I have seen the first one. But it's just like every time I think of thoughts, uh, short circuit, I've got associated with bits of the second one, mm-hmm. which I think I've seen more. Yeah, of. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like it's, it's not a bad movie. No, absolutely. And the robot did annoy me a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. much SpongeBob. Mm. You know the one I couldn't get? How come Police Academy bad guy? He's just a security guard and he's just doing whatever he wants and the boss just takes him. Like, like you're just a security and, and, guard. But then at the end, just goes, oh, you're sad. It's like, oh, yeah. sorry, you could have done that at the start. Yeah. Instead of getting ignored and spoken down to, how funny were those little security cars? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the guys fall out of it. Oh, so good. I love one of those. They were awesome. Yeah, that was some interesting casting there from part of... Police Academy with Gutenberg and yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That guy, the, I'm a businessman, not a scientist. He's, like, and he's waiting. What about when he's waiting for him in the car, in the truck yeah, with the yeah. gun, and then just lets him go? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I like the movie. movie. But I watched it maybe six months ago. So at the start, 
Oh, it was a slog the other night. I'm like, <sighs> and uh, yeah, Jason, shut up and watch it. Put your phone away. And like, I enjoy it, but yes, it's got its many problems. It was on. Yeah. I was on my phone for most of it. Like towards the end, I you put it down, finished it off. But it's something you don't have to really pay attention to too much. No, no, no. You know. It's just hijinks, robot yeah, hijinks. Yeah, yeah. Silliness. He moved pretty well. Oh, he was oh, great. Yeah. He was great. Did, uh, oh, the the eyebrows the made the made it. Yeah. He had um he was probably one of the best actors in the film. Yeah, it's not hard. No, he didn't have a great line. It's a it's a low bar. <laughs> yeah. So Dave, what made you choose this one, mate? I don't know. I just yeah. It's been a while or you something had come up or probably been a while and then I heard a couple of lines from it like spoken and it's like, oh yeah, well. Yeah. Because I did see one of those 80s on Facebook, one of those 80s t-shirt companies. And uh what was it? Your mother's uh, uh something uh, like the when he screams out as they run away, he yells something out, it's like your mother's a... Uh, I can't remember. Anyway, yeah, yeah. must have been really memorable. But yeah, that was memorable enough to put on a t-shirt, supposedly. And then that's, a, that's the first time I thought about short circuit in a long, long time. And then you spoke it, then you brought it up. Yeah. yeah. Do you regret bringing it up? What? No, Dave, do you, do you after watching it again? Do you... After watching it again? Yeah. Uh... I probably wouldn't change my choice, but I'm not happy with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, unless anyone's got more to add to it, we've got some. We'll do some ratings after Dave's spoken up, talked up. Then. All righty. Give it a pass. I'll give it about five and a half. Yeah. Six. Yeah. I got six. Six. <sighs> that chick is. I'm going to censor myself. <laughs> All right. Like she was. Okay, everything. Let's just say effing what? What was that second? Because you, that, that wasn't a swear word, was it? The second word. Oh yes, it was. Oh okay. <laughs> was it the one you said the other time, Dave? <laughs> oh no, no, that not not. I was going to say that's that a bit one. harsh. Yeah. Like okay. she swore. Okay. Um. Like taking an <laughs> ass in front of the robot, and how many ex boyfriends does she have? And what? She full cracking onto oh. like the scientist for no reason. It's like. Slowly, yeah. It's no, and then, and, and she's she's got animals up the wazoo. Yeah. Excuse them. She's and that's alone. the thing. She try, She likes to fix the broken ones. <laughs> yeah, she, she was. They were all. They were all annoying. Just everyone in this movie was annoying. I thought she was pretty good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Except for her hair. I don't know what to do with the hair was. The oh, 1980s. Like the 1980s. I know, but it's not big 80s hair. It's just it's not like a big perm thing. It's just weird. And she's kissing Newton because he's happy, like he's found like a sentient robot. And he go like number five goes, Oh, show me some sugar. And she's like, okay. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> oh, it feels so weird, weird sometimes, the, man. The sister, the sister in the European vacation movie. You know, the with the Exactly. Yeah, I was just trying to picture which 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 vacation is that one, you know what I mean? Yeah. Every time it's a different kid. One that's not Juliet Lewis. Yeah, yeah. I'd probably give it a four and a half. No, good on you, Dylan. Hey, you kids are too stuff these days. I'm not with you, bro. Robot was cool. I like robots. Yeah, it was the best part. <laughs> Except for the voice. Like Yes. The, oh, the voice itself. is great. It just gets a bit great. Ah, great. What you yeah, need to do, voice. if you've got a spare minute and a half, is go on IMDb and type in Short Circuit and have a look at the trailer for it. Hmm. Because the trailer, trailer, they don't actually ever show Johnny or number five. Oh. And it's like it's just some big demonic robot that's going to destroy it's wow, out right. and it's escaped and it's there. Wow. It's like, switch. oh, go on. And then, yeah, bait and switch, exactly. Quite, quite amusing for what the show ends up being. They did that a lot though. Yeah. Back then. Because you could. The second one is more of the um, the guy doing brown face, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. He's the sort of main character. Yeah, Nate, Nate yeah, Gutenberg. He's in it. No. Gutenberg got a bit, uh, oh. thought he was a star for a couple of years there. Michael McKean's in it too. Interesting. Yeah. 
Like, it, yeah, him and Michael McKean are the two sort of main. So I'm guessing McKean's a bad guy. Mm, no. Is no? he like the offsider? Yeah. Oh, is he? Okay. Yeah. Looks like you're just staring at your empty hand, Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> I am. <laughs> That's how I hold my hand. <laughs> yeah, second one, Ben and Michael McKean are making toys because they don't work for Nova anymore. Anyway. Interesting. I think I might have to go back and watch it. Johnny no, Five is alive. Did it get worse rating than the first one? Yes, it did. <laughs> That's put me off of watching the second one then. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not going to watch the second one. Yeah, yeah. I concur there. Ah, I gotta get around to it. Already so who's in. next? Nitten? Me. Yeah. I'm picking Legend. 1980 movie Legend. Legend. I'd never seen it. It's I one of those movies I thought I'd seen just because, you know, it just seems like something I would have seen as a kid. Hmm. But no, I haven't seen it. So Tom Cruise, Tim Curry, Mia Sara. Directed by Ridley Scott. Cool. So, Everything yeah. you just said there besides Tom Cruise is you know, class. Yeah, yeah but it's Tom yeah. Cruise back in the day. So when he had a mad life. monobrow. Hey, it's still, still rubbish then. Yeah. Um, it's on Amazon Prime. Yeah. For people. Cool. I watched it a couple months ago. Cool. So this oh, is yeah, the yeah. I haven't seen it. It'd be totally new to me. Yeah, me neither. Okay. Cool. I don't think I've either. Yeah. Oh really? Mm. Now I've seen it as a kid. Yeah. Well, the only thing I know about it is yeah, Tim Curry's the, the, like, devil the makeup of, of the devil. Yeah, and one of the he broke best, his back because he was so heavy. Some mm. of the coolest makeup ever. But yeah, oh, yeah. yeah you know, I feel sorry for him now. Because all I remember, yeah, I just remember him as that devil. Because I think mm. finally made a toy. Maybe yeah, I was stuff. gonna say. Remember when we got that figure? Oh, yeah. bro, that was hot. That's a good toy. But I'm like, like yeah, big I've one? Seen, yeah, I've seen this movie, haven't I? I must have. <laughs> I don't remember anything of it, and I remember like, I don't think I've seen it. So, yeah. Prime Legend next week. It's it's the Legend of Zelda the movie, <laughs> pretty much. Well, it's done. That can be our link to next week. Ah, uh, link, I get it. Uh... <laughs> Alrighty, is that it? I think that's it. That's about all I got. The way to end. We're very professional yep. here on the Council of Reeds. Yep. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> we, we will never change. Yes. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell. Apparently that bell means something. I guess for notifications. That's when they track you, Dave. <laughs> like they're not doing it already. <laughs> anyway. Bye. 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 Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>